YouTube, what's up? Today we're going to be starting a new series called Esther vs. Recipe. Today we're going to be making Ban Kai crab noodle soup. It's super easy and delicious to make. It takes only 30 minutes to prepare. It's going to be a perfect meal for two. Let's get started! You're going to need 6 to 8 pieces of garlic, 6 cups of chicken stock, 4 pieces of crab leg, crab paste with soybean oil, the top of a crab, and also half a cup of tapioca starch. What you're going to do is you're going to turn on your pot on the medium to high heat. You're going to add some oil to the pan, about 2 tablespoons. Wait for about 2 minutes for this oil to heat up. Make sure you're looking at it and watching it just so that it does not burn. After, you want to add your minced garlic to this pot and stir it. You want to stir it for about 15 to 20 seconds, making sure that the garlic is not burning at the bottom of the pot. After, you want to add in half a jar of the crab paste and soybean oil. And you will want to mix in this crab paste and soybean oil with the garlic. You want to mix this up for about 20 to 30 seconds. You want to pour out the liquid from the crab head and put all the yummy goodness inside this mixture as well. After, you want to stir this around and let this stir for about 30 seconds or so, making sure that it does not burn. If you think it's going to burn, you would want to add a little bit of chicken stock. You want to let this boil for about 15 to 20 seconds. After, you're going to add in 6 cups of chicken stock. Allow this mixture of chicken stock and all the crab juices for about 10 minutes. Next, you want to get your ban kan noodles ready. You want to get lime slices, green onion, and a lot of black pepper. What you're going to do is when the liquid is boiling for about 10 minutes, you want to add the crab into the pot. You want to add all four pieces into a pot and make sure the liquid is fully covering all four pieces so that it will boil evenly. You want to boil the crab legs in the pot for about 8 to 10 minutes. While this is boiling, you want to boil another pot of water. You will put your ban kan noodles gently into the boiling water just because these noodles are very fragile and you want to just smoothly and with the most TLC push them into the boiling water. Once they are fully submerged into water, you want to set your timer for two minutes. After two minutes, you want to give the noodles a quick swirl. Make sure that they're not clumped together. Turn off the water and strain. Make sure you immediately rinse these noodles off with cold water. How you know that these noodles are done and ready to be eaten is when you are picking them up, they feel very bouncy and they feel like they have absorbed just a little bit of the boiling water. 
they still have a very nice texture to them and they are glossy on the top. You want to strain this really well for about a minute or so. After the eight minutes are up, take out the crab legs. In a separate bowl, you want to put half a cup of tapioca starch. You want to put about two tablespoons about of cold water. Stir this very, very well. Make sure that there are no clumps with the tapioca starch and the cold water. It's going to be a little bit thicker at the bottom, so make sure you give this a stir for about 30 seconds or so. Once this is fully dissolved, you want to bring this over near your pot. You want to turn off the boiling crab soup, move your pot to an area where there is no heat, and slowly pour in your tapioca starch water mixture and stir constantly for about 30 seconds. You will see the liquid start to thicken up. You want to continuously stir this so that it will not create any lumps in your soup. After, you want to put a bowl with noodles, green onions, a lot of black pepper, and your crab leg, and pour about three layers worth of soup into your noodle bowl. This is a very delicious and easy ban kan recipe. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe and share this video with your friends if you enjoy this. And remember to push the notification button for food videos every Friday. See you on the next one.